Hello everyone, this is uh, Jerry from YY Bridge Studio, okay, and thanks for your one year support to look at my video, and uh, from 2017, we started a new video angle, right, you can see my face, the real man <laughs> behind the screen, and uh, we build uh, and I uh, made a lot of uh, models and okay this time it's not only about this one before i introduce the new model to you guys i want to press my uh, some cheers about uh, it's coming chinese new festival spring festival right everyone we I wish you uh, be healthy and uh, be happy, even be wealthy at the coming Chinese New Year. 春节快乐,和家安康, the health is very important. Okay, let's talk about the, the first uh, model I made for this year. Okay, I saw that into that case and it's a lot of uh, pieces it's around the uh, 2000 pieces it's optimus prime you can see from the trailer and uh, transforming progress it's too much faster maybe it's too much fast but now i will build that and uh, Transform from the truck mode to the robot mode, then tra transform it back from the robot mode to the truck mode. If you are satisfied, and, uh, I believe there is no one build uh, uh, or record this transforming progress with Optimus in Lego version. I know Alex made an uh, OP previously, but uh, his model based on MP1 from Te uh, Takara but uh, I built this model based on the MP10 so it's some kind of development uh, you know everything it's about uh, the combination the pieces combination it's always there but just no one find it I try my best but uh, some Something still not satisfying in this model, but it's okay. I believe it's just okay. Around the 14 bags, I separated them by parts to parts. This is uh, legs, one pack to one. And this is the gun. And this is the wheels. You can see from this model, when you see uh, the later of this uh, video, it finished the uh, shape, balanced the two mod modules. The hardest part is balance uh, the truck motor, the outlocking, and the robot mode. And you need to hide the wheels. And the wheels should be in a line, and that's a very hard part to develop that. But uh, satisfying uh, part is uh, when you move that model, you want to stand that, the robot stand uh, in front of you. It's a little bit difficult, but uh, when you want to move some pose, it's hard to do that because you want to balance the transforming progress it's not easy okay um, but i believe uh, you can see a lot of new parts from lego they produce every year maybe when we can wait one or two years later and we can use the new parts then we can develop a perfect optimus prime because that's the dream of a boy right I started an iPhone from the 17, the, the 70s. Uh, Optimus, just a, 
a company with me, company with me for the whole childhood. It's very attractive. You can see from the tractor just transform to a robot. That's boy's dream, so I do that. Okay, let's build and transform it. Okay, we build the uh, bodies and legs as the, the instruction book, also with the guns. Then exciting hours is coming. Let's put the two big parts into one. The real Optimus Primer is coming. And you find the pin and insert the, just the click and everything done, finished. Let's remove the guns. And this time we build some special parts at the front of the gun. And we get the arms neat. Okay, the body is finished. Then the other things, the following steps you want to do, get, let it stand stood. The first thing is you need to tighten each part tight. And the second part is you need to find the surface which cannot be smooth parts like this. You need a rough space like this. It's the better you find the base plate for that. Then basically the final thing is you need to find the gravity center. After three, after three or four minutes, then it can stood, but it's just can stand for a little while. Then we move to the next the next step, which is transform. The transforming progress, the brief for you, the animator you can find it in the trailer. But uh, that's the real things. You build this and you transform everything. We're following the steps. The first step is we need to grab it. Avoid it just cracks, right? The first step, the second step, we lift the arm to 90 degree. And we need to go to the next step. Is open the back cover, fold the hand into the down arm. Okay, the hand was inside. Then we close the back cover. It's similar with Takras MP10. Okay. Then we move to the next uh, hand, next arm, to the same way, and close the back cover, the down cover, sorry. Then next step is uh, we rotate the back, you can see from the back, the two covers, you need to lift them. Then you fold the rotator the down arm. Okay. And we do the same way at another side. Okay, we remove the two plates. Two plate. The tiles, it doesn't help in the transforming progress. Okay, and we've rotated the down arm. Then put 
the the whole arms back. Oh shit! It's okay. A little flexible because the Legos, you know, it's not、uh, weld or stick. Okay, then we、we'll、go to the next part. And we made some small adjustment, and move to the next step. The big part is fold the whole body and rotate the nest. Okay, pull this grilled plate out of the body. Okay. Then we need the real stuff. We rotate the superstructure. Once click, then twice click. Okay, 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 okay. Then now you can see the rotator beam come to the vertical status. Then. We need to lift the whole body, then rotate the nest. Clack 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 clack. Then, you know, that's the traditional transforming methodology. The whole front、uh, down body go to the back. Then you need to enhance all the pieces connection. Make sure it doesn't fall into part. Then the rest is、uh, a little bit easy. You pull the greater part down, then move to the little, because the great panel will keep at the bottom of the track. It will not appear at the track mode. Then we continue to fold that, rotate, crack, crack. Clack, 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 clack. I continue to do that. Okay, click, clack, clack. Then the rotator beam goes to vertical mode. Okay, then let's move to the position. Now the track mode basically is ready. Okay, we put the models down as the track mode. You can see the grid plate go to the down of the body, and put the arms back. Now, the status is like this one. Now you can see the front of the track. We fold the wheels, get the front wheels out. Okay, the exhausting plate the pipe always dropped. Okay, we fold that the same way as the other side. Then we rotate the crown part to the back. Now you can see the front headlight is coming out, but it's still flexible at current status when you. Transform the arms; it will very stable. Okay, now you can see the truck mode is、uh, basically ready. Before that,、uh, we need a hind、uh, head. Okay, we don't need the plate. Okay, now we've opened the windows and、uh, pull out. The matrix out. It's so tight. Let's use some strength. Okay, okay. It dropped. Okay, we put the matrix aside. We continue to hide this. Okay, you can see the space in the chest. The first, we pull out the real front panel. 
The front panel is for the truck motor only. It's hiding in the chest. Okay, now we put it down. Keep the beams as low as possible. Then we rotate the head into the chest. Okay. It's a little bit tricky when you rotate the arm into the chest. It's basically use the technical pin as the hinge. Then we keep we keep the round plate up to the stud. Okay, the position is hiding the head is to keep the when you close the windows. It will not crash. Okay, let's try that. Hold the head and close the windows. You can see. Okay, no, the truck, uh, the windows is not out of there. So basically, the front is finished. The window can be closed. Then we reassemble the plate at the top. So. The truck you can see from the top, it's flat as well. No gaps, no holes, no studs. Let's rotate a little bit. You can see that, okay? Have you see that? Now we want to lift the front panel. I'll adjust a bit a little. But why we we do not uh, lift that to the end? Because we keep the gaps for the arms. Then we move to the arm transform. You need to keep the down arm sitting on sitting in the gap. Okay, when you insert that, all the structure is stable. The first thing is we. Rotate the arm. We hide this into the gaps. You need to notice about the stud at the right side. It won't keep hold the gun, so keep the stud out of there. Stud out of there. Rotate that and uh, pulling up. And you keep that pose. The insert. After, before you insert that, you need to rotate the side cover to the front. It's part of the whole truck front front face. Then you insert. Okay. Then push. Okay, the stud maybe stopped you, but you can still push. Push that, and small adjustment. Okay, let's adjust a little. When you hear one sound about click, then. The position. It's on the. It's in the position. Okay. Here the click. Then everything okay. Then you close that cover. Because from the side or from the top, it will be a flat, a plane. Except、uh, this hole is for the arm rotation, so nothing can help on that. And we do the same thing at at the other side. The same transforming methodology: rotate the panel to the front and push. 
the down arm into the into the upper arm. Okay, now we push. Then we lift. Okay, the arm is finished. Then we lift the front panel to hold the position of the two sides of arms. Then you can see it from the front face. Then we finish the front part. Then we transform working on the legs. The first uh, key point is rotate this panel. Okay, remove the fuel tank. You can see it clearly rotate to that position. Then we are working on the foot at first. Rotate the foot 108 degree, then insert it to the left. Okay, then we do the same side, and we need to push all the legs into the kind of small legs, right? Then you can hold the panel, and push, try hard to push. It's very tight inside because you want all the weight to stand, right? Okay. Another side you can push. Push to the place that you cannot push again. Okay, that's everything. It's done. Then you turn the fuel tank covered. And we had uh, two studs and holes at up and uh, foot. So you can Combine them together. Okay. The oh, I forgot. This two plates you need a is assembly the back. It's a little bit tricky because you can see it, right? Uh, just use the one stud to install the plate. We put the beans backside and uh, add this plate because I cannot see it from this side. Then we do the other side. Okay, you can find uh, use only one.
Okay, we finished the truck motor. Then let's talk about、uh, something we didn't see here: the container. Then the container, you know, it's very easy to build. But、uh, I, the reason I didn't build it that because I want to build another Autobot, maybe the police car or rescue car or something else. The car can be inserted、uh, to the container, then the Optimus can、uh, pull it anywhere else. So I didn't build a container this time, but I will build it in the future after all the ratio is good. Okay. Now let's transform the truck mode back to the robot mode. The first is、uh, you rotate the mirror. Yeah. Then open the windows. And I okay. I adjust the cover plate. You know that. Okay. Then we I need have to stand and、uh, get the head out of the body. Okay, and just the two unit being a little, then it's the key to adjust the pose, the head pose. When <coughs> you can see the space, right? We keep the space. One is for the head, one is for the matrix. Now, the matrix has clipped, and you insert the matrix. Okay, the matrix is in the position. We cannot close that window because we need to insert the panels. First, we get the the arms out of the body. And you can see when the support is removed, all the things just、uh, oh, it's released. Some feeling like that, right? Then we need to do one more thing: is、uh, get the panel lift. Before that,、uh, we rotate this panel to the side on the arms. Right. This methodology is different、uh, from MP10 by made by Takara. Takara, right? Okay, you can find the hands, right? Now we fold this, lift that into the arm, into the chest. Fold, lift. Okay, keep that down. We insert the whole front panel. Okay, you cannot see from the robot mode, right? Then you need to lift the five unit beam as higher as possible, so you can keep the front wheels. To support the beam, then you can close the windows. Okay, we will not to move that windows anymore. Oh, I just、uh, missed the one unit of this two plate, two tile. Okay. This two tile is for the decoration only, no structure use. One stud connection. Then what do we need to do first? We get the arms transforming finished. Pull out. Yeah, pull out at this side as well. Then rotate. Rotate. At this side, then we need the one thing is、uh, to get the hands out, so we do, doesn't need to do when it stand higher, right? Open the back cover, rotate hands out. 
you need to notice about two sides of the fist. Okay, then close the button cover. At the same time, same thing happens at the other another arm. Okay. Okay. Get the hands out of that. Close the button cover. Then the arm is finished. Oh, let's just put the guns aside. Then these two covers, you need to get up. Then put the arms to the front and close the top cover. I rotate to the back so you can see it clearly. The, the older position, then you move that. So all the back uh, also doesn't have the studs out, right? Then we move to the legs, open the leg. Okay, come on, get the leg open. Then the thing is we start uh, the foot at, at first. Okay, ow, ow, ow. It's not easy, right? Get the foot out. Okay. Uh, let me get them assembled. Okay. Now right, so it's done. The second thing is we need a, okay. They disconnected. The way how you Avoid that. You need to push your superstructure a little. Or remove the tiles. That doesn't help in the transforming progress. And we use the strange push. One click. Okay. Then it helps to connect the downside. Then first we rotate the fuel tanks to cover the wheels then we pull the legs out okay when we finish that we doesn't need that it's just uh, in the robot mode again pull pull you just stress to pull the key is uh, you need to show all the great parts and when it, when they all get out, then it's done. Okay, pull out. Okay, just a pull, pull. That's okay, done. And the legs is finished. So we need a uh, the big rotation, right? First, so we still need to pull all the superstructure to the front. Then you need to pull, 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 push, push, push. That's push, push, push. Okay. It's okay when you see the click, click. Then you adjust the front wheel a little, rotate that, then fold that. Heal the hind wheels into the chest. At the same side. Okay, fold, rotate and fold. Yeah, let's stand it. Oh, watch out. You don't want the following parts, right? Okay. Let's try to fold that. Then first we need to put the grilled part outside. So it cannot avoid in the transforming progress. 
and you can put the plate sitting on the beams. Then use your stress just to fold that. Crack, crack, crack. Okay. Can we rotate the nest a little bit? Okay, rotate. Okay, it's not the that position. Let's fold it again. Fold it more. Fold it that. Fold it that. Okay. Now it's the position to rotate the nest. Rotate to the back. Okay, you can see the stranger pose. The Optimus Primo keep. Then we move to the face to me. Okay. Let's stand on this side. We fold that to a greater plate. Then push. Okay. Just a one click. Okay. The all the transforming progress finished. The small parts just drop, but it's okay. You can assemble it back. The big parts or the main parts is still very stable. Don't worry about that. Because that's the first、uh, time people record the transforming progress, use only Lego parts. Other things you can see is just the pictures, right? When you want to understand、uh, the key points, is you need to fold this and insert into the nest. So it looks just like a stop to keep the body falling, so it can stop. Right. Okay. So we can do that. Okay. Now the robot model finished. Now we need to get the base plate here, so it can stand. So lift. Small, small detail. You need to rotate a little bit, but that's okay. I'll、adjust a little and make、uh, all the robot mode need uh, and uh, assemble the two tiles back at the nest. Remember, it's just a decoration and not structure parts. When you design that something, you cannot always say, "Okay, just follow your transforming progress." What you want is ninety-nine、uh, percent of that, not that one percent. Miscellaneous, right? Okay, that's okay. When we finish that, so the transforming progress is finished. Let's add the guns back. Okay, get the guns. And、uh, we need to add. So you can see the holes, the axle holes, the axles, and、uh, you had holes and studs. When you insert the axle into the holes, you need to. Get the button of the gun on the stud as well, so you can prevent its rotation. The gun is in the position, so everything is done. Then you can spend a little bit of time to make it stand. But the thing is, you if you want to show them, the better way is you show the truck mode. Right. Okay. Thanks for the watching. Then all the transforming progress is finished from the robot mode to the truck and to truck to the robot mode. And I explain why they are using two containers. Then you can wait. Okay. So what thing we can do? I don't know. See you next time, and happy Chinese New Year. Okay.、Uh.